This video contains the inspection procedures for the 1097 Humvee in single point configuration. As with any inspection, you're always going to begin by simplifying your form. First, write ALS at the top right corner of your form. Next, circle block 3 and 5. Now carry over any X's that the rigger has already placed on the form into your column as the inspector. Finally, you will fill out all of block 12, however you will not apply your signature. Once you have completed simplifying your form, go back up to the top right where you wrote ALS and ask yourself these three questions. A stands for aircraft. Ask yourself, is block 5 capable of lifting block 3? L stands for load, or is my load too heavy for my equipment? In which case L is only going to apply when dealing with the A22 cargo bag or the cargo nets. S stands for sling sets. Ask yourself, is block 3 too heavy for the sling set or sling legs in front of you? Once you have completed simplifying your form, start your inspection by verifying that the passenger side windshield has been shatterproofed with masking tape in an X configuration on both the inside and outside. Next, ensure that a mirror tie is present on the mirror bracket, securing both the passenger and driver side mirrors. Verify that it is the proper material, which is type 3 nylon, and that the mirror tie itself is routed free and clear underneath sling legs 1 and 2. Also ensure that the passenger side mirror has been shatterproofed with masking tape in an X configuration on both the top and bottom portion. Move to the hood latch on the passenger side and verify that it is secured with 2 inch pressure sensitive tape. As you make your way around to the front of the vehicle, ensure that the front right wheel is straight in line with the vehicle itself. Next, verify that all the glass and plastic on the front end of the vehicle has been shatterproofed with masking tape. Now we will inspect the front sling legs, starting with the front passenger side sling leg. Ensure that the spacer is positioned in the sling eye and secured with a pin and snap ring. This will verify that the grab hook is not inverted. Ensure that a dome or self-locking nut is present and that the keeper has proper spring tension. Check the routing of the chain and verify that it is routed one time and one time only through the lifting provision and secured in the grab hook. Next, verify a link count of 74 on the front end for the 1097 Humvee single point configuration. With 10 or more links of excess chain, notice the Type 3 nylon routed through the links in order for them to be tied and taped before sling load operations. Now inspect the driver's side sling leg and ensure that it is properly attached in the same manner as we inspected the passenger side sling leg. Inspect the first breakaway tie. Verify that it is the proper material, which is type 1 quarter inch cotton webbing, that it is not double wrapped, and that it encompasses both front sling legs. As you move to the driver's side, ensure that the front left wheel is straight and that the hood latch is secured with 2 inch pressure sensitive tape. Next, re-verify that the mirror tie is the proper material that it is properly routed free and clear underneath both of the front sling legs. Also, ensure that the mirror has been properly shatterproofed with masking tape on the top and bottom portion. Move on and inspect the driver's side windshield. Verify that it has been shatterproofed with masking tape in an X configuration on both the outside and the inside. Check the transmission and ensure that it is in neutral and that the parking brake is serviceable and set. 
verify that the fuel level is three quarters or less, and ensure that the steering wheel tie is present and secured with type three nylon on two anchor points within the frame of the vehicle. Finally, verify that the seatbelt is secure and that the ignition switch is in the off position. If your 1097 has rear passenger seats, verify that the seatbelts are secured and the latches are covered with 2 inch pressure sensitive tape. Next, make your way around to the rear of the vehicle and verify that all the glass and plastic has been shatterproofed with masking tape in the same manner that we did on the front end of the vehicle. Now, move to the driver's side tailgate hook and ensure that the hooked end is facing out and secured with type 3 nylon cord. We will now inspect the rear left grab hook in the same manner as we inspected the grab hooks on the front end of the vehicle. Spacer inside the eye, snap ring, dome or self-locking nut, spring tension on the keeper, and chain secured in grab link. Now check the routing of the chain to ensure that it is routed through the tailgate guide, routed through the lifting provision only one time, and that it returns back through the tailgate guide. Next, we will verify a link count of 10 in the rear for a 1097 Humvee utilizing a 10,000 pound sling set. Move to the passenger side tailgate hook and once again verify that the hooked end is facing out and that it is secured with type 3 nylon cord. Inspect the last rear right sling leg in the same manner as you inspected the rear left sling leg, ensuring all component parts are present and that the sling leg is properly attached to the vehicle with a proper link count of 10. Now inspect the towing pindle, verifying that a cotter pin is present and that it's covered with two inch pressure sensitive tape. And finally, inspect the second breakaway tie, checking for proper material, which is type one quarter inch cotton webbing, ensuring that it is not double wrapped and that it encompasses both rear sling legs. After you've completely inspected the rear end of the vehicle, move to the passenger side and check the fuel cap to ensure that it is secured and taped with two inch pressure sensitive tape in an X configuration. Next, verify that the passenger side rear and front seats have their seatbelts secure and that all latches are secured with two inch pressure sensitive tape. Enter the vehicle from the passenger side to inspect the 10,000 pound apex. Verify that the apex is set up for the appropriate aircraft. Ensure that a castellated nut is present and that the crowned portion is facing out and that there is a cotter pin present. Incorporate an apex spacer if the aircraft requires it. After you have completed inspecting the apex, you will now verify that the sling legs are properly routed and in the correct sequence. To do so, hold the apex high in the air. Trace and verify that sling legs one and two are routed free and clear to the front of the vehicle and that they are not misrouted underneath the vehicle's roll bar. After you have verified that sling legs one and two are properly routed and in the correct sequence, inspect the third breakaway tie, checking for proper material, that it is not double wrapped, and that it encompasses both sling legs one and two. Once again, hold the apex high and verify that sling legs three and four are properly routed and in the correct sequence. Trace and verify that sling legs three and four are routed free and clear to the rear of the vehicle and that they are not misrouted underneath the vehicle's roll bar. 
Now you are ready to inspect your fourth breakaway tie. Check for proper material, that it is not double wrapped, and that it encompasses both sling legs three and four. Finally, you are ready to inspect your fifth and final breakaway tie, also known as a clustering tie. Checking for proper material, that it is not double wrapped, and that this time it is encompassing all four sling legs. One final takeaway from this video is that the link counts depicted are for a 1097 Humvee in a single point configuration utilizing a 10,000 pound sling set.